we're back with Nordic NRF 53 DK and uh, I got it programmed as a Nordic UART service uh, Bluetooth device and we will connect to it using the NRF Connect application. So let's connect to the device and uh, we see the ordinary Nordic UART service. Let's open it up. So right here we got a unknown characteristic and it does a read and write attributes. So uh, we can do uh, two different uh, writes from this characteristic and the Rx. And also we can read data from this characteristic on demand. So we got our test string right here, received. So it works uh, like a request. So you read the data whenever you want to, instead of the standard uh, notification that is available in the TX uh, characteristic. So it is quite in, coming in handy if uh, you, for example, read uh, packets of uh, data and you save them somewhere uh, or whatever, string of uh, bigger files. So whenever you process the data, you can get the, another set of data to process. So let's take a look at the code that we have to add to get the additional characteristic. So let's get started. First, let's make sure that we got the changes uh, reverted to default. So we got here only two uh, default characteristics, so TX, RX. And uh, let's quickly take a look how the example works by default. So if we enable the notification here, uh, we can send through the terminal a string to the device, like so. Uh, or we can write uh, to the terminal using the Rx. So we got it written. So this is how the example works by the default. So let's get the code and add a custom characteristic. So I got the example already loaded, but let's uh, get it from the start. So let's browse for samples. So this is the way you get the examples running. And let's type in peripheral keyword. So this is the example. So if you click it, uh, you won't have a build configuration by default. So you just simply have to add one. Uh, so you select uh, this board and build configuration so you will uh, have a build like i already have and uh, you will have in the build uh, so some source files let's open it up so right here we get the main function and uh, also at the top we will have includes for the additional files. So right here you can see that uh, this is the header file for the uh, service. So let's quickly take a look at it. So this is the H file and uh, we are looking for the C file. So we have to go right here and uh, it will be And the subsys Bluetooth, and uh, we are looking for the C file which is in the services. So, this is the file. So, uh, this file is used by the 
your central device, so the client. And the device uses this file, so let's open it up. And let's see what we got here. So uh, this is for the notification. This is a function on receive, or send. And uh, this is the definition of the uh, whole uh, service. So we got the service, it has a macro like uh, this, and uh, it has a TX characteristic with a notify. And uh, right here you got uh, three nulls, and uh, it is uh, represented as uh, a callback functions uh, for the different uh, attributes. So for example, below we got the Rx and it has got a right attribute and right here it has a function on receive. So this is the function that is called uh, whenever uh, you write something to this characteristic. So if you would like to read from a characteristic, uh, you would have to put a callback function right here. And if you would uh, use the indicate attribute, you would have to put it in this place. Uh, okay, so uh, we will add a custom characteristic right here. So let's simply copy this section and let's put it right here. Okay, so in the H file, I believe we got the definition of the UID. So we have to add another one. So let's quickly go to this definition. I already added it, so the UX, and I got it incremented by one, so it is uh, the TX is 3, the last one, and we got the uh, next one, our own, plus 1. Okay, so this is what we have to add here, plus this definition. And uh, now we can modify this uh, section, so UX. And uh, we will add here a write, I mean the read attribute. So uh, going to the definitions, we can see we got this here. So let's just copy and uh, we will add it to the sum of the configuration, like so. And uh, we have to add a callback to the read. So in this place, we have to add uh, another function. So uh, I got a, another file already with the added service right here. So I use the unreceive2, which I got declared right here. So let's add it somewhere up here, so the definition will see it as defined. Okay, so uh, what's going on in the unreceive2? Mm. We have to return the read from the get attributes function and we will pass to it a buffer uh, but first don't forget to put in the actual function so we are putting a message here that we want to print through the read and we have to uh, 
get it like so. So this is the buffer. Uh, the offset is actually zero, but we don't care about it right now. And we have to get the length. So this is just a, a string size of the message. So like this. So both are the same the buffer and the whole message so we don't put any headers here simply this so let's try to build it okay so let's flash it okay so i got it uh, loaded so now let's open up the services so we got a new characteristic added here let's see if we get uh, correct message so uh, this is the correct one so now uh, the case that we want to distinguish messages written from this characteristic and the default one because right now if we open up the terminal so let's write from here so let's select text and say ux so we just uh, simply see a message here and if we do the same from this let's say rx char so we don't really see a difference from where we get the data so now let's quickly add this to the code Okay, so uh, you can distinguish uh, those uh, two by checking the UID from the attributes. Uh, but I think uh, the more clear way to distinguish them is to add a different uh, function here. So let's add a on receive three. So we will just copy the original one, which is right here. Name it so, and uh, we can also add a flag here. So let's add a variable, which is a flag for the UX okay and uh, whenever we receive it from this characteristic we will set it to one and uh, let's put it right here and if we uh, get the uh, right data from the original one so we will set it to zero again okay and uh, in the main function we got a callback uh, for the uh, receiving which is right here so uh, we can add here a check of a flag so for example let's add right here few x flag something let's first add a reference to this flag so let's copy this and right here let's add extern something like this so if it's one then we will print out uh,
something like uh, UX. Okay. And if it's uh, the other one, we will print out Rx. Okay, so let's quickly build. And now let's flash it. So now let's again connect to the device. Let's open up the terminal. So now let's test out the writing here. So, str ux send. So, right here we got the header, the ux, and the message. Now let's do the same from the rx. So let's type in str space rx send and we have now a header right here for the rx so we can distinguish from both of these uh, characteristic the messages. So this is a quick modification here. And uh, in the NRF uh, application, we can also name uh, the new characteristic as the UX. And it will display just like the uh, default ones. So this is a quick guide how to uh, modify the services here. Hope you enjoyed it and find it useful in your projects and see you in the next one.